What's going on, everybody? It's your boy. Welcome to Fat Boy Fragrance. Of course, you know who I am. I'm Mr. Fat Boy, and I'm bringing you a prime time video on this clone week. Man, dropping two videos a day for y'all. Man, giving you plenty of contact, plenty, plenty of content, plenty of uh, entertainment, and I enjoy it. Thank you so much. And if this is your first time checking me out, first of all, thank you for stopping by. And I appreciate it. And I hope you stick around, baby, because the show's just getting started. Get you some popcorn, pull you up a seat, and enjoy it. All right. Thank you to everybody. But if you are new, don't forget to hit that like and subscribe. Join the Fat Boy family. Help me get to that 1500 so we can have that giveaway, baby. Details below on the five winners are going to what they're going to win. The grand prize is going to get that full gift set of Mercedes Club Black. I can't wait to give it away. I remember giving away the full bottle of Ultramar when I got to 1K. Then went to my boy Russell Mack over at Sons and Vineyard. This is also going to be a shout out video. A shout out video of some people you need to check out if you haven't checked them out. All right. Let's talk about those people before we get started. First of all, like I said, Russell Mack, Solomon's Vineyard, fantastic gentleman. We do, me and Russell have done some collabs on my other channel back in the day with Fat Boy, and we plan to do more. Um, check it out. We go live and we do them. Uh, and then they're up there for y'all to check them out anytime you want to. Uh, just stuff about the 90s, man. We talk about hip hop. We talk about, you know, we talked about candy one time. Me and my wife did. It's all kind of stuff. You want some nostalgia? You want this hype and hypeness? Come over and check it out. Now, I want to apologize for the fat boy talking sports. Man, I've just been hard to get things done right. I've been super busy with the store, super busy with uh, getting videos out, uh, new, new shipments coming in all day. And work has been busy, busy, busy. So I apologize. I'm hoping I am off this week, uh, uh, this Thursday and Friday. So I'm going to be able to Wednesday night get a video. Because I got a lot on my mind. I want to talk about sports. And I haven't had a chance to do it yet. All right. First, that's like I said, Russell Max Solomon's Vineyard. Check him out. The link is below on how you can check out his channel. Fantastic, knowledgeable person. Uh, a booming personality. And I love him to death. All right. Next one up is my homie, Bro Sense. This man's been doing it for a minute. And I will consider it a personal, personal favor if you just go over there and check him out. And tell him Fat Boy sent you. Alright? Bro Sense is great. I love his I love his attitude. I love his his uh his the way he carries himself. It's just gentleman. He's a, he's a straight gentleman of this fragrance game. And I love him to death for it. Alright. I haven't talked to this guy in a while, a little bit, but I still consider him a brother. I'm just, and I want to apologize to anybody if, if you don't hear a lot from me. I'm just not a big reach out kind of guy. I just, I just, I'm so busy. And, but Manuel from Manuel House in the House of Aromas, man, he's like a brother to me. I love him to death. I will consider it a personal favor if you check out him too. Link is below. And the last one that I'm going to speak to about today is my friend Michael over at the Fragrance Wardrobe who's starting to catch a little steam, baby. He's gotten over that 500 mark. Let's help get into the 1K. And let's get Michael there with the fragrance wardrobe. His link is below. All right. That's it. That's my shout out. That's the Fat Boy crew. The ones I roll with the most. Um, if I didn't say your name, I'm sorry. I'm just catching up with some things. But today we are doing a comparison video because it is clone week and we are celebrating clones. And Duas, one of the big influences for me. It's been a year since I started collecting Duas. I started with eight on my first order. Now I have over 485 of them. And uh, I, it's one of my best sellers on my on my store. People love them. Um, they got a fan base. It's huge. They're very polarizing. 
But you know me, I never take sides in that. I'm not sponsored by Duo. I'm not sponsored by anybody. I give you the real deal opinion, baby. That's what I bring you every time. So let's go ahead and get all up in this comparison video. I got four Duos, four Perkins from Zerjoff, which when they're cloning, and let's see if they match up well and see if you can save some money by getting those Duos. And you know how we do it, baby. No salad, no dessert, just straight steak and beans. Fat Boy Perkins Review starts now. Well, whatever happened to Tone Loke, man? That was a good song. Boy, it's all right. Yeah. Tone Loke had that ability to fit right in in the hood and in the suburbs. Really good at that. And he played it to the, to the max. All right, so I'm talking about the house of Zerjoff today. I own six Zerjoffs. I, and I have four doers that Dua has made their impressions of these Zerjoffs. We'll just start with the first two and get started, baby. Y'all ready? Let's do this. First one up is Zerjoff Neo. I mean, Udin. Sorry, Udin. Gorgeous, but I love this. Udin is like a... Uh, and I don't have the top on this one, so... Give me one second. I'm going to get a top for it. I thought I had found the top. But I guess I didn't. So I'll use this top right here. So I can spray it real quick on my skin. But... Udin is kind of like a uh, a little bit probably colder weather fragrance. Nah, probably, you gotta take that back. Udin is more of a year-round fragrance, and it's a really nice one. This is the Shooting Star Edition where I got the little meteorites with them, but it'll set you back between 180 and 250 for this little bitty bottle. Yeah, that's a lot. Now, if you're like me, you gotta have these gorgeous bottles on your on your shelf, and I've sold all I'm gonna sell of it. If you want an idea on how I sell my fragrances and what I end up keeping most of the time. Because in reality, I can wear this amount that's in here for two years, probably. And here, here's, here's how much I've sold out of that bottle. I probably recouped about 80% of my money. That's it. That's it. Uh, but I appreciate you guys never really thinking about I'm, I'm in this just for this money thing. Because it's it helps. Believe me, it helps. I saved up a bunch of money this past week. And made a bunch of purchases. And, um... Yeah, I sell, I sell 75% of it. It's just the way it is. I I'm not doing anything different that has not already been done. People have been splitting bottles since they've been around. It's, but I just done it a little bit different. I put a brand on it called Fat Boy Fragrances and gave it a whole brand. I, I had a channel that was already started. And I used the channel to help bring it up. And I've got subs off my stores on eBay and on Fat Boy Fragrance. So they help each other out. But, you know, I've always kept it real. If it fragrance isn't good, I'm going to tell you. I mean, I'm not going to tell you it's terrible. It might, it's going to be for somebody, but not for me. Um, but, if you want to know what I end up keeping out of a bottle, some people have asked, that's about as much as I keep. And I have a decant that I fill up when I first get, a 5 ml to 3 ml, and I have that too. So, basically, I can get my four or five times wear out of this bad boy over the next year and a half, two years. Now, if it's a fragrance that's how in demand, I'll buy a second bottle of it. Um, and do as I buy all the time because it's just it's a revolving door. We'll do it, man. Every time, every time, every time. All right, so let's go ahead and spray Udi on the skin. Yeah, I said the skin. I'm gonna try to put all of them. I'm gonna put all the Zerjoffs on my watch hand, arm, and all I'll do is on the non-watch arm, okay? Here we go. First, here is Yeah, see this one reminds me of kind of like a sportier kind of almost like it reminds me a lot of Chanel's Allure Home Sport I, I, I love that one that's the vibe I get out of it so it's that kind of vibe it's probably their most non niche smelling fragrance is Udin in my opinion so but it smells great and I've worn it and performance is decent um so I like the fragrance it doesn't smell synthetic it smells, it just smells niche quality, but the profile of it doesn't make it feel like it's a niche fragrance. Right, it's gorgeous. I mean, it's just beautiful. And I've smelled this, on, I've smelled Udin on so many other fragrances that have copied this. And I don't know who came first, but it's really nice. All right, so the one that Dua has called and it made their inspiration of is called Omen. And this one is probably about eight months old. So I've had this for a while. 
Not a real big pop of the seller in the store. Well, what do you know about that? Freaks come out at night, baby. So let's go ahead and spray uh, Omen on my skin right here. And we'll see how close Duo is, man, these sprayers. I didn't get a chance to do performance, so I can't really judge it on that. I'm just judging it on the smell, okay? Because I don't care if, if the performance isn't better than this one or that one. This is 40 bucks. That one's 250 now, And they're both the same size. All right? I mean, you're definitely getting a better bottle, of course, yes. But they're the same liquid in both of them, I think. All right? Smells, this one smells like Udin. Udin. But it has a little offness. My guess is it dries down and gets better. So as far as the opening goes, it's about 80% there. Okay? Close enough for some people and maybe not close enough for everybody. And it starts to smell more like it. Where I think do it shines is it's more intense. It is a stronger smell off the jump. So that tells me that it's going to project longer than the original stuff. And that's a big, big plus. And where I'm doing all four of these, I'm going to decide if I'm going to choose which one I think is, is, is it worth to buy this one or is it not? So to me, in my opinion, even though it's a little bit off, Omen is stronger, projects better, and over the time of the fragrance starts to smell like Udin as, as it dries down. There it goes. Yeah, this one's already fading away. This one, mm -mm, stout, stout. All right, so I would say that Udin is a good, uh, Omen is a good job, and Dua did a good job with that. Good job, Dua. All right, next one up is a nice honey kind of tobacco fragrance. It's really popular. This is my second bottle of this one. Um, it's a big boy, and it is called Naxos. That's my second bottle, and I, I have another one that I have about that much left in it. I just decided to pull it off and keep it, and that'd be my personal, and I'll sell most of this one. Um, Naxos, to me, probably fits better in the cooler months or in the nighttime, a little cooler weather. Rainy day, this is a definitely a more upscale dress-up fragrance for sure, but it's really well done. And Dua's version is called Fortune. This is my second bottle of that, very popular in my store. Um, so, yeah, Naxos and Fortune. Let's compare them. I'm going to put Naxos right here and put Fortune right there. Here we go. Ah, oh, God, it smells so good. All right, so now we got them each on the skin. Let's go in, baby. That's so close. That one right there. That is on point. That is 99.99% .99 accurate. This one right here is the same thing. So, this will set you back about for this big bottle. I don't think they make a smaller one. But if you wanted to buy a 30 ml, which I don't sell them, I think they sell for about 80 bucks, 90 bucks. So, 30 ml, this one on a sale day is going to run you about $45, $48. So, it's going to definitely save you some money. Yeah, they are they are spot on, and they smell great. Do it, like I, like I said, with this one too, it's going to project a little bit longer, in my opinion. So, what Do It does really well with their Naxos in, 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 inspirations is they do perform better than most of those Zerjoffs. Yeah. It's spot on. If there's a little bit of a difference, it's, this one smells a little bit more natural. This one smells a little bit more heavy on certain notes that don't probably belong in there. They're kind of thrown off a little bit. So, instead of 99, let's say 95. Anything over 90, and it's a, anything over 80 to me is it. So, this one right here, yes, pass the test again. You can safely buy Fortune if you like the one to try Naxos before you bought it, and you won't be disappointed. All right. Next up, we have a kind of rolly kind of scent. Super popular. And I, I think it's my favorite name because it really plays off the whole theme really well. And the, the Zerzhoff one is called... What do you know about that? Hold on. Music break. We got to hear the beginning of this verse. Big Daddy Kane was one of the best MCs. I don't care what I said. Listen to drop it. Here it goes. 
Time to set it straight, you know what I'm saying? And ain't no half stepping. Word, I'm ready. Rapper stepping to me. They wanna get some, but I'm the cane, so yo, you know the outcome. I'm up a victory. They can't get with me. So pick a BC date, cause you are history. Woohoo! It's gonna take a miracle, baby, for you to beat me. Okay. Alright. By the way, what y'all think about my video this morning? Pretty good, wasn't it? If you haven't watched it, go back and watch that beginning that when I come back from the break. I showed the people at work and they're like, man, that is freaking hilarious. Okay. Zershoff's Neo. I'm almost at the point that it's so no more no more Neo being so. This is my personal use right now. This is also part of that shooting star collection where you get a meteorite with it. Uh -uh. And Matrix by Dua. So get the get the word play there. Neo, Matrix. Okay, if you don't know what that is, Neo was the name of the character in the TV the movie Matrix. So, so they got that from. Okay. It's kind of in the rolly scent. Not one of my favorites. I rarely ever wear uh, either one of these, but what I think I do like what Do It does with it is they blend Matrix really well. Millie Steam, Imperial, and Matrix. They call it Imperial Matrix. Man. Superb. Um, they mix also uh, this with, uh, I think, Advantage. Um, they also mix it with Backward Respect 40, I think. I'm not 100% sure. I can't, it's top of my head, I can't think. But yeah, Casino Matrix. Really good, too. So, I like what Do It does with the blends. All right, so this one's going to go right above my watch right here. And the other one's going to go right here. So, let's go ahead and put the, the, uh, the, uh, Zerzhoff Neo first, right here. All right, let's put the Dua Matrix right there. Yeah, so Neroli, man. I like Neroli, man, sometimes. This is not my favorite one. I like the way the Dua one smells better. This one has a funky orange, you know, smell to it. Like it's a, like, like a fruit that's a little rotting fruit a little bit. Like a citrus is just turned. That's not that good at all. Yeah, Dua smells way better for some reason. Wow. Okay. I've never compared them side by side. Um, I gotta say, I don't have to go any further. I think Dua smells better than the real thing. It's weird. This one's probably spoiled. All right. Yeah. So save yourself about 45 bucks, uh, 200. All right. So Dua wins that one too. Last one is one of my favorite ones, and I like both of these versions. And this is a one I just got recently. I've done a review on this one. You can go back and check it out. Um, this one is called Zerjoff's Blue Hope. Think of a blue Jolly Rancher. That's what I get on this one. And Dua calls theirs Dream of Turquoise. I don't get the turquoise thing there. Is it a turquoise? I don't know. But what we got? Okay, so this is like a sweet kind of uh, ambery aquatic vibe to it. Maybe I'm guessing on this. I can't remember the notes on it. But this one's going to go right here in the crease of my arm right here. Okay, right here. Blue Hope. Let's see how close it is. But I love this fragrance. Oh, God, I love that fragrance. All right, so. About mm, 250, 260, 45, 50 bucks on a good sale day. Don't pay retail for anything to do, and don't get 15 percent off. Wait till the weekend when they have the sales, baby. I'm gonna tell you right now, I like this one better. It just smells more natural. It smells more like it. And to be honest, this is the one that doesn't perform as well as the real one, because I have compared these two. Yeah, it smells good. The dual ones, if you didn't know, you would not know a difference, okay? Is it worth buying the real thing? No. In my honesty, I buy them because I just, I'm, a, I'm a nut. But, and I sell most of it. But, this is a great substitute. What's the percentage I give it? 
I would say in the opening about 80%. As it dries down, maybe 90%. So close enough. Right? Close enough. What you know about that slick break the ruler, baby? Let's wrap this up and get out of here on this prime time video, baby. I love these prime time videos. Okay. So in my opinion... And to my nose, Blue Hope does smell better in the opening and last longer than Dua's. Dua smells like it. My 90% there, after you get past the opening, Blue Hope lasts longer. You got to decide for yourself if it's worth it or not. Um, That's it. All these are great choices. If you guys have a, a request a one day for me to pick a house out of some clone house and I have them, and you want me to compare them, I'd be glad to do it. Just don't ask for the advantage one. I'm not buying advantage. Just, just do a video. I'm not. All right. That's all the time I got, baby. Y'all stay safe. And y'all stay well. And you know what I always tell you, baby. If you smell good and you feel good, baby, it's going to be all good. Fatboy Fragrance Reviews is...